Hey guys, it's Chad. Um, this is the TCM version 11. I added logic for passing gear. Um, my setup's changed a little bit. I added another Adreno just for signal processing. So this is an output for RPM. This one's miles per hour. A couple of additional buttons here to toggle these up or down. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, my screen layout changed a little bit, but I am not settled on that. This is just quick feedback because I'm now away from my computer um, testing this thing and I have my old setup actually over here. Um, and this is a actually a version that's in the car now. This is a pick chip that I talked about in my first post. Here's a second pick chip. Now in the car, of course, I have it in project boxes and nice and clean and neat. Uh, it's not this wire mess actually. This is all. This and below here is something else. Um, I don't even remember what I was doing there. But uh, this is the proto version, and uh, still works. It's pretty cool. Uh, buttons are loose here, but it's third, and the decimal point is indicating TCC, fourth, and then of course back down. Um, oops, this button is still loose. Okay. Anyway, uh, so this drives the LCD and status. What gear? You know, I shouldn't say gear. I should say shifter location, park, reverse, neutral, drive, so forth. And then this is a um, command side which would uh, pick up your uh, button pushes for your gear selection and output it. Uh, now I did remove the um, LEDs that would indicate the solenoids in addition to the um, 8 segment output. Anyway, um, this little guy here is actually a uh, chip used in your OT sensors. Um, there's a cool little bar display I, I got this years ago. Never did anything with it. Anyway, um, so back to this guy. Um, so right now uh, I'm in first gear. You can see that indicated by the one here. Also the solenoid sequence by the LEDs. You can see that. So first gear, first gear is solenoid one on, second solenoid off, TCC off, of course, and then uh, all off is actually the um, lint mode for the transmission. So second gear, all all solenoids are off. Third gear is the second solenoid. Fourth gear would delay to the TCC, the yellow LED, and then back down. So anyway, so I've got some data being pumped to uh, this guy doing all the processing, same same layout as last time. This guy is the guy really doing all the work. Um, these guys are just dummies putting out signals, uh, one for RPM and one for uh, miles per hour. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so let's say I'm uh, in fourth gear doing 33 miles an hour. 1900 RPM. We really dog down that system. Anyway, okay, so <clears throat> fourth gear. Alright, and I want to pass somebody. So that logic, right, I had to be less than 40 miles an hour, and RPM has to be less than 3300 in order for this thing to kick down. And then since I'm in that safe zone for first gear, it will drop to first gear. So there we go, first gear. Um, it works nice. So I added the same logic to, <clears throat> or similar logic, excuse me, to uh, scenarios where it's safe to drop into second gear because first gear would just be too much. And then same thing for third gear. And you see that in the the code attachment that I provided in the earlier post for uh, anything less than 80 miles an hour, but more than 40 miles an hour gets you into second gear. Again, the RPM has to be met. And then the uh, the same thing for uh, third gear, although third gear you really only drop it from fourth gear. It's not terrible, but anyway, just for completeness, I put that all in there. Uh, and then, of course, I showed you guys the wide open throttle logic, um, and uh, you know, you'd be in first gear, and uh, once 3300 RPM is reached, then I'm allowed to shift. And looking through my own viewfinder here, let's see if I can. Update my uh, RPMs just to show you that guy again. Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button here. I ain't paying attention. Uh, not that button. Not that button. I guess this is why people script their uh, their movies. All right. Now pay attention. One of these guys is going to. Oop, that's down. Okay, I figured out down. I figure it up. My RPM. Oh, geez, there it is. Okay. 
So let me get this above 3300 and then uh, show you the wide open throttle still working. So, yeah, okay. So if anybody actually is crazy enough to shift to 3900 RPM uh, or wind their engine up at the 3900 RPM, <clears throat> I don't know if that's true or not, but it doesn't matter. This thing doesn't care. So <clears throat> my tripping point is still 3300 and I'm well above that, of course. So um, I dropped in the first and uh, I can just toggle any time before that. So the, the actual automatic normal driving conditions are never implemented yet. I think that's going to be my next step. So I need to get a map sensor, which is uh, not too terribly expensive, but I can still simulate it here. So all that logic forthcoming, but that logic will have to be switched between actual using push buttons or just saying I don't, I'm don't i being lazy today and don't want to shift it by pushing buttons and let the, the, the thing do its, um, well, do its thing, I guess. So let me drop down it first. All right, so uh, we're doing about 20 miles an hour. Really wind it up to 3900 RPM, and then we'll go wide open throttle. Second, third, fourth, and then TCC lockup. So awesome! Pretty excited. 